Doptalit. Mechanism of action. Immune thrombocytopenia, or ITP, is a complex autoimmune disorder characterized by thrombocytopenia, that is, a platelet count of less than 100,000 per microliter, resulting from accelerated platelet destruction and suppressed platelet production. Primary ITP in adults usually progresses towards chronic disease that necessitates therapy which helps increase platelet counts to a durable level via strategies such as reducing platelet destruction and increasing platelet counts. Doptalit, abotrombopag, is an oral thrombopoietin receptor agonist, or TPORA, that works to address the underlying pathophysiology of chronic ITP by increasing platelet production. In order to understand the mechanism of action of doptelet, let's first understand what TPO is and its role in platelet production. TPO is a glycoprotein hormone produced in the liver. TPO travels to the bone marrow where it binds to its receptor on the surface of hematopoietic stem cells, megakaryocytes, and platelets. Endogenous TPO binds to the CMPL receptor, also known as the TPO receptor, on the surface of hematopoietic stem cells. TPO binding activates Janus kinase 2, or JAK2, and signal transducers and activators of transcription, or STAT. This activation subsequently results in changes in gene expression, promoting progression of stem cells along the megakaryocytic pathway, and then megakaryocyte maturation, leading to the release of normally functioning platelets. Doptalit is a non-peptide small molecule TPO receptor agonist, which acts through the HIS-499 position on the transmembrane domain of the TPO receptor. Doptalit does not block native TPO. Instead, it complements patients' own platelet production. On binding to the TPO receptor, Doptalit also activates the signaling pathways that promote progression of stem cells along the megakaryocytic pathway, leading to the production of platelets. Because the Doptalit binding site is different from the endogenous TPO binding site, it allows for an additive effect to endogenous platelet production. Doptalit stimulates proliferation and differentiation of megakaryocytes from bone marrow progenitor cells, resulting in increased production of platelets. Hence, Doptalit can be used as an alternative therapeutic option for thrombocytopenia in adult patients with chronic ITP who have had an insufficient response to previous treatment. Doptalit works to address the underlying pathophysiology of chronic ITP by increasing platelet production. Doptalit stimulates proliferation and differentiation of megakaryocytes from bone marrow progenitor cells, resulting in increased production of platelets. Doptalit does not block native TPO. It complements patients' own platelet production. By binding to a different site than endogenous TPO, Doptalit creates an additive effect to endogenous platelet production. Doptalit does not compete with endogenous TPO by binding to the same receptor site. Doptalit avitrombopag tablets. Indication and important safety information. Indication. Doptalit Avitrombopag is indicated for the treatment of thrombocytopenia in adult patients with chronic immune thrombocytopenia who have had an insufficient response to a previous treatment. Important safety information, warnings and precautions, thrombotic thromboembolic complications. Doptalit is a thrombopoietin TPO receptor agonist, and TPO receptor agonists have been associated with thrombotic complications in patients with chronic liver disease, 0.4% or 1 out of 274 in doptalit-treated patients, and thromboembolic complications in patients with chronic immune thrombocytopenia, 7% or 9 out of 128 in doptalit-treated patients. 
Portal vein thrombosis has been reported in patients with chronic liver disease and thromboembolic events. Arterial and venous have been reported in patients with chronic immune thrombocytopenia treated with TPO receptor agonists. Consider the potential increased thrombotic risk when administering Doptelic to patients with known risk factors for thromboembolism, including genetic prothrombotic conditions and acquired risk factors. Doptelic should not be administered to patients with chronic liver disease or chronic immune thrombocytopenia in an attempt to normalize platelet counts. Monitor platelet counts and for signs and symptoms of thromboembolic events and institute treatment promptly. Serious Adverse Reactions Serious adverse reaction that occurred more frequently in patients treated with Doptelet, 9% or 12 out of 128, compared to placebo, 5% or 1 out of 22, was headache, occurring in 1.6% or 2 out of 128. Adverse reactions. The most common adverse reactions greater than or equal to 10% in patients with chronic immune thrombocytopenia were headache, fatigue, contusion, epistaxis, upper respiratory tract infection, arthralgia, gingival bleeding, petechiae, and nasopharyngitis. Post-marketing experience. Following the approval of Doptelet, hypersensitivity reactions involving the immune system, including but not limited to pruritus, rash, choking sensation, swollen face, and swollen tongue have been reported. These are not all the possible risks associated with Doptelet. Please see full prescribing information for Doptelet at www.doptelethcp.com. To report suspected adverse reactions, contact Sobe North America at 1-866-773-5274 or FDA at 1-800-FDA-1088.